You'll notice the tire gets really sticky, really soft and will increase your grip. Hi guys, it's Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. And today I'd like to talk about a new product that's has come into the store. It's the uh, TDK High Grip Tire Source. Um, now this is an American company and this line of products new to us, although the concept and the product itself of tire grip is, uh, is not and been around for many years. Um, the thing I suppose that sets the TDK apart from the uh, other brands is that it's uh, non-carcinogenic and safe to use and um, safe to transport and, and yeah, it's gonna be a way forward both environmentally and for your own health because the uh, previous tire sources or goops, if you will, have been quite detrimental to, uh, to the health of the, the user and also, you know, not good for the environment, not biodegradable. So I want to talk you through the basic steps of using it today on an off-road car. Um, and this is how our team have been using it, um, primarily out at, um, at Kilo. We've had most of the feedback, and that's where most of our relationship lays. So, yeah, let's get into it. So what we've got here is your four-wheel drive buggy. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to run through the steps of, of using the, the tire source for the maximum benefit um, and it's how the guys are out there using it. So it's not defined and you can sure find your own ways, but this is what we've been led to believe is a current and uh, popular way of doing it. So your car's just coming off the track. It's all nice and dirty. The wheels are dirty. The first thing you want to do before you apply your tire source is clean the rubber. Now, there's guys out there using brake cleaning products or other nasty chemicals, um, and it's not necessarily um, a, a valued step. All we need to do is wash off, wash off the dirt um, and make sure it's dry before we apply it. Now, given the fact that they've got foam inside our off-road tires, you don't really want to submerse the tire or waterlog the insert if we can, because it'll go out of balance and all, and all wobbly. But we want to get off any fine dirt that might be in there. It's going to affect the, the adhesion and the taking of the, of the tire source, penetrating into the compound in the tire and indeed doing its job, which is transforming the tire into a, into a sticky, into a sticky um, yeah, increasing traction. So I'm not going to submerge the tire, but I've got some nice soapy water here and a very stiff uh, industrial scourer. And we're just going to rub it over, give it a wipe, and that's about it. Then I'm going to dry the tire off because it really has to be dry before we go applying our thing. Now you can leave it in the sun, you can wipe it off, whatever you see fit. Obviously, we're on camera today, so I'm going to wipe it off and dry it the best I can. Ideally, you want it 100% dry before moving forward. Again, with the front, just going to wet the cloth in soapy water, give it a, give it a good rub, get off any dirt and debris that's in there, in the tread and to save the, um, the traction compound getting into the tire itself and activating with the rubber and giving us more traction to go forward. All right, so that one is done too. Then I'm going to put the tire on. Uh, I find it easy to apply the source on the car. Um, and what you want to do is you want to do it about, depending on your weather, you want it to be about 20 to 30 minutes before your off-road race. And you want the tire source to actually be effectively dry or matte or the flash, what they call the flash point. So where it's effectively gone into the tire um, and come away so the tire's matte looking. Now it's a very thin, very watery substance. Um, and I see you guys hose this on all the time. So you want to sort of get it off nice. Doesn't really have much of a smell. I wouldn't say it's odorless, but it definitely doesn't, it's not an offensive smell. Um, and it's definitely not a harsh chemical. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four drops, one on each tyre. Then I'm going to use my wheel wrench and I'm going to just apply it in a nice even coat. That is more than enough. Excuse me, well, let's get in there, put that on. And these AKA scribbles are fantastic over there at, at Kilo. Really good tires. Now the benefit of using this traction compound has been seen 
to be up to a second, a second and a half per lap. Now that's amazing over a five minute race in off-road. Um, and the tires are effectively just on from the minute you put them down. So there's no warm up and there's no degradation over five minutes. Um, as you can get with other compound, other traction additives or other compound sources. And that is pretty much it. So then what you're going to do, we'll put a lid on there so I don't spill it everywhere. All you're going to do now is let that sit um, and come to the flash point on the tyre so where it's going to be nice and matte. Now you don't want to put the tyres, if you happen to be rushing or it's not quite, you want to make sure that you wipe off the best you can, otherwise you're going to have a slippery first, lap, a first few laps. Um, apart from that, you'll notice the tyre gets really sticky, really soft and will increase your grip. Like I said, the guys have seen results of 1, 1 1.5 seconds out of kilo. So a great product, really happy to have it. Yeah, enjoy, check it out guys. <laughs>